Hey, it's Doc Williams. Let's review each of the five types of chemical reactions. The first type of reaction is a synthesis reaction. And a general equation for a synthesis reaction is if you have element A plus element B combines to form substance AB. An example of this is if we were to take the element sodium and combine that with chlorine to form the compound sodium chloride. Here we have a single element being combined with another type of element to form a compound. We synthesize or built that compound from sodium and chloride. The next example is the opposite of synthesis where we're taking a compound such as a B and breaking it down into its components which will be A plus B. Looking at our sodium chloride, we have the sodium chloride compound in ACL being broken down into its two components, sodium plus chlorine. Here we have a compound being broken down into elements A and elements B. The next type of chemical equation is a single displacement. In this case, you have a single element when combined with a compound, the single element will displace or replace one of the elements in the compound to form a new substance. In this case, A replace B to bond with C, leaving B as the single element. An example of this type of reaction is aluminum combining with aluminum, I'm sorry, with copper chloride. In this case, the aluminum will displace the copper. The aluminum being a metal will displace the metal of copper and form aluminum chloride plus the displaced copper. So as the name suggests with a single displacement, you will see a single element combined with a compound, and that single element will displace one element in the compound to form a new substance, and the displaced element in the products will then become the new single element. So with a double displacement, which is our next reaction, the general equation will have two compounds for reactants and two compounds for products. AB plus CD will form or I should say we're rearranged to form AD plus CB. A, which is the metal in the first compound, will form a new compound with the non-metal in the second compound, which is AD. And the non-metal in the first compound will rearrange with the metal in the second compound to form a new compound, CB. And this is why I wrote C first in the um, second compound of the products, because the C is the metal in the second compound in the reactants. And we know that metals are generally written before the non-metals. An example of a double displacement would be sodium chloride plus calcium sulfate, the sodium or metal of the first compound in the reactants will come and form a new compound with the non-metal of the second compound in the reactants, which will be sodium sulfate. The second element in the first compound will combine with the first element in the second compound to form calcium chloride. So what comes to mind with me with double displacement is the four method in math, where you have the first combining with the last, A combines with D, and then the two inside elements will combine, B combining with C. Now let's take a look at combustion. The general equation for a combustion reaction is going to be some type of fuel, which is a carbon-based compound in the presence of oxygen will burn and form carbon dioxide and water. So an example of this would be methane, CH4, which is a type of fuel plus oxygen. And you will always have the same two products, which is carbon dioxide 
plus water. For these, it then becomes a matter of balancing the chemical equations. And if you notice, none of the chemical equations on this first page were balanced. This was more so about reviewing what we already covered, which is the different types of chemical reactions and being able to recognize those. As always, thank you for watching.